Um, and Mickey's going through a crisis. Mickey? Yeah, David. Hi, Mickey. You have to speak up, Mickey. Hi, how are you doing? Good. How old are you, Mickey? 35. What's the crisis? Well, I've been gay since I was about 15. Yeah. And I've met a young lady that I think is kind of cute. And now I don't really know if I'm gay or not. Or, you know, I guess you might say I've fallen in love with her. It, this is the that. first time? Yeah. Are you dating her? No. Um, what is the relationship with this young woman? Well, she and I work at the same uh, company. That's how I met her. Yeah. And, uh, I bring her little things once in a while when I get off work. She works later than I do, so I bring her little things when I get off, like flowers and stuff. We sit and kind of talk and everything. How romantic. Yeah. I wish she thought so. You wish she thought so? Yeah. Like, she doesn't know I'm alive, you know? And it's like... Well, you bring your flowers. She has some idea. Yeah. Have you asked her out? No, I'm, I'm kind of on the shy side. Okay. Um... That doesn't mean you shouldn't ask her out to go someplace that you'd like to go. What are her interests? Hers or mine? Hers. Yours, too. Yeah, we both like reading. Like what? Reading. What is that? Oh, a reading, like books and... A stuff. reading? Yeah. Okay, so there are poetry readings at coffee shops? Yeah. And in the calendar section you'll find certain authors in town reading from their works at different places on a Sunday? Yeah. That's not a bad way to go about it, and it's free, too. Yeah. And there are, there's the lecture circuit that you'll find a lot of authors on. Uh -huh. Why don't you, why don't you find out who her favorite uh, people are and see if you can get something in the same area and just, you know, work it out so that afterwards you go out for some place for a bite and talk. Uh -huh. Good idea. That's how it's done. You never dated a woman before, huh? No. Have you dated many men? Mm, dated that, isn't the word, right? Yeah, it doesn't, so. Uh, what's the longest relationship you've had with a guy? Um, off and on with this one about uh, eight years. Um, how serious is it? Um, Friendship, basically, and sex, you know. It's, you know, it's kind of like an old, comfortable pair of shoes, you know. Yeah. Do you think of having a family when you see this girl? Like to. You know, that's something I've kind of thought about. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'd be a good daddy, but, uh, you know. Well, this is a relationship that deserves a lot of attention on your part. I can't figure out where did this pop up after all these years, you know? Well, where did it get suppressed to begin with? That I don't know. Any guess? Mm. Well, I, my mother, my father died when I was born. My mother was kind of domineering, and we never got along that well. Those are pretty classical dynamics, huh? That's what I had heard, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to just put it off onto that, you know. Well, I mean, what you missed, of course, was the companionship and guidance of a, of a loving man. Yeah. And maybe you've grown up a little bit in that department, and all of a sudden, someone stirred something in you. That's kind of how it was, you know. I met her, and there was just something I liked about her right away, and it's just something I've never felt before. And something you want very much. Okay. Now, let me tell you. You have to go at this with great caution because your heart's being exposed to you in a way that it never has. Yeah. And you're discovering a part of yourself that you thought lay dormant. Yeah. And um, I think one of the important things that you need to do is
start meeting her on a friendship basis and see where it goes as a friendship. Uh -huh. And just work on the friendship. And at some moment, you may wish to discuss your feelings more uh, completely with a therapist who can help you understand the dynamic changes that are going on in you and, and make those. But let's just become her friend. Don't make it more complicated than that at this step. Okay. And don't invest a lot more than the friendship. Whatever happens next will happen. Mm -hmm. But how amazing to discover this part of you so late in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who knew? Well, I wish you hadn't mentioned the late in life part. part. Well, <laughs> that's what you're thinking, and that's what I picked up from the way you, you talk about yourself. You're feeling old, and she's making you feel young. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. That's one of the telltale signs that the thing may be right. Yeah. Go for the friendship and uh, let it lead from there. Be open to your life. You never know where your life is going to go. And when a feeling ignites in you that shows you a positive side of yourself and makes you want to do something positive, how can the thing be bad? We'll be right back. <laughs>